Hi, I'm Batu from FreeFinCal and FreeFinCal.com was started seven years ago this week. So this is our, uh, our seventh birthday and uh, if you are interested in how this journey began and how the website has evolved over time, uh, how its priorities have uh, changed or altered, whatever you want to call it and uh, what uh, I would like to do in future. Uh, uh, please uh, watch. I have assumed that there will be some interest in this. Uh, that's presumptuous of me. I hope uh, I'm not too wrong. So, um, I have already talked to you, uh, I mean, I've already written uh, in detail about my, uh, my personal journey into money management and uh, how I came to be uh, from an academic uh, uh, head in the clouds academic or a frog in the well academic whatever you want to call it to somebody who's worried about managing money and uh, That story is in the description box uh, You can have a look at that So this so my father died around uh, yeah late 2007 and uh, for the next couple of years I was trying to uh, Find myself in, in some ways uh, in the uh, in the personal space, I was trying to uh, do a few things. I, I actually started a comics blog. Uh, I love comics. I still read comics. I'm, I'm so glad that my uh, uh, baby reads comics. Uh, and, uh, and we have a huge collection of comics at home. So I started uh, at around that time, I think in the late uh, uh, 2000s, there was this fad to, um, you know, revive Indrajal comics uh, where people will scan them and post them online. So I started a, a website called, uh, sorry, a, a blog po a blog uh, site called uh, grouchycomics.blogspot.com. Uh, I think that was what it was called. I think it's no longer there. I, I removed it. So there I had posted about this comics, I have, uh, my interest in comics and uh, and put some files for downloads and so on and so on. Some of these websites are still alive. Um, they're still doing well. Uh, that's very uh, heartening to know. But that was it. But uh, but soon, when I started learning about uh, money management, that, uh, um, I mean, that the interest uh, there started increasing more and more and I stopped uh, uh, updating the comics blog mainly because I could not offer anything new uh, to the um, comic loving community in terms of analysis reviews that was not my thing and I uh, I, I did not uh, carry on with that I still have a lot of comics uh, scanned uh, in my computers I still look at it from time to time if I get bored um, so when I started looking at money management I I they, I realized the need to invest in equity, the need to beat inflation, the need to uh, prepare well for retirement, and around that time, uh, Jago Investor um, was a new blog. It was picking up, and uh, those days, Manish Chauhan uh, was more uh, DIY, DIY kind of uh, investor. He was writing for a DIY folk folk. And he wrote a post called create your own retirement calculator in seven steps. I think it should still be there in his blog and using that as the basis I started learning how to do it and I soon made a retirement calculator and um, I had tested my retirement calculator uh, several times and it was okay. I was, start, I was learning more about asset allocation. When I started all this, I knew nothing about Excel. I have never used Excel in all my life. It's just I, I learned because I, Excel was easier to do. Everybody was talking about Excel. So I thought I'll learn it. And uh, so I don't know what happened first, but in, uh, in, in summer of 2011, uh, I wrote to Manshu Verma, who used to write very regularly in his website called uh, Live Mint. The, the website is still alive, right? but although he doesn't do much of the writing uh, these days. Um, so I wrote to him and I said, I have this calculator and I have to, uh, I would like to share it with your audience. Um, so when I did it, and that post is this one, you can still see it, it's still available in his website. This is the post. This was written, it was published in June 2011. And the response, the comments, I don't, I can't see the comments anymore on this website. Probably they've been removed or whatever. Uh, but the comments to this 
guest pose was was amazing i never seen anything like that the, the, the readers i mean they have never this, this was an open source calculator all the formulas were av available and uh, they have never seen a calculator where all the formulas were available they have never seen some of the features uh, in the calculate in the given in the calculator and i knew then and there that's the demand there's a demand for financial calculators and uh, there, there are there will be enough people if you um if you project it right and i knew since i like doing it so i thought why not i start my own website and uh, collect all my calculators and put them together as a website uh at that I, i mean i was following many websites at that time uh one of the websites was uh, was network fp it's still available it was a website for for distributors financial advisors and so on it still is um i was a member there i think i still am uh, um sadik nilgund had carried a post uh, of 13 of my calculators and so on in this it featured a post but at that time but i don't know that was much later but at that time there was one offer from a company called aclips.com i don't think company exists i just checked uh, they had uh, they had came up they came up with an offer saying that they will set up websites for financial advisors and you can create a so we'll give you the website and then after some time uh, you can try use it as a trial run and after some time pay for it and so on uh and so i took up that offer and i started uh, building that website and uh, the diy uh, uh, gene in me uh, kicked off uh, full stream and i completely changed that website the layout and i changed put, put my calculators added everything made a video uh, i'm not sure i think that video is still available somewhere probably in youtube it's my oldest video i think um so that that was that, that was this week may 2012 that was when i started the website um about 3 4 5 months later i realized that um i needed a much more flexible platform because i had i was i was bustling with ideas and i wanted i wanted to write about this or about that and so on i wanted to do this but also at this time i had Uh, um emailed a long list of financial advisors i got that list from network fp at that time i emailed them saying this is my website uh, go have a look at it let me know what it is many people uh came back to me with feedback uh some of these people are uh, big big shots now um i also wrote to pv subramaniam saying this is the calculator i i had designed and please let me know if it makes sense he told me the the the, number, the numbers make sense this it looks it looks fine so that's when i realized that no matter how big the retirement corpus is i have to uh, work towards that so uh, about uh, late 2012 i started um, freefincal.wordpress.com so it's wordpress.com free blog and uh, that time after a month or so after i started it i got diagnosed with myasthenia gravis which is an autoimmune condition so that kind of uh, i still have that um that kind of uh, for the first 2 3 months i was i was practically lying down all the time i could not do anything um in december 2012 when i when i had when i was when i was pumped up with steroids and enough medication so i could actually do some work Uh, i wrote a i wrote a slide i wrote a powerpoint about how to select your mutual fund how to use alpha beta gamma r squared whatever whatever and how to select a mutual fund and publish that and that post really took off i don't know how it did i didn't really do anything uh, i didn't do i didn't know anything about media or seo or social media optimization or whatever but i got good response to that post i knew that people were looking for it and i also knew there was no such information available so people were looking to that and that post was shared and uh, um for for my standards at that point of time it became viral uh, before the word was probably not used in terms of traffic uh, at that time and uh, slowly i started so uh, earlier my my the earlier version versions of my website would have all those calculators listed in and uh, was not I was making calculators every week or something like that. I was not writing much, but then I st slowly started writing about personal finance. Or some of my earlier posts were quite immature, I would think, relatively. Uh, 
so and also pv subramaniam um, made a big difference in uh, promoting the website you can see he had, he he his old post still will have links to freefincal.wordpress.com he had just written is just reposted a one of his old articles it would still have that word freefincal.wordpress.com that website has been made private so uh, because of pro- trouble with my plugins and so on that's a different story so <laughs> um so around 2000 so january to january 2013 or so i started writing more and more regularly but i was not this regular uh, i just wrote maybe every every week every couple of weeks but then the ideas started coming in and i i knew i, I mean i was writing for myself I, this was the problem i was facing say so for example when should i exit a mutual fund is a problem that i faced this is one of the questions i had asked ashal that was one of our, our first interaction with ashal jauri was with, was via that question around this time maybe jago investor forum time i don't remember maybe yeah 2012 i should i would think uh asana it is a well that started in 2011 late 2011 i think i was i was there uh in 2012 sometime i don't remember now um so i started writing and uh, i was writing for myself i was writing i was answering questions i had i was researching on how to handle this what should i do how to how to review a fund how to choose a fund once i buy a fund how should i do it how should i uh, what is the kind of risk how should i how to understand risk and so on all these led to posts uh, i will make a separate uh, i'm writing an article on my biggest mistakes as a blogger many of them i'm still making new mistakes but i hope i won't repeat my old mistakes but that's how the uh, journey began and this is my uh, website traffic you can see um, in 2013 this traffic is uh, th- th- there was some traffic here that was in the free website a uh, free blog the wordpress.com blog but this is the uh, in the wordpress.org or my own i mean my paid the hosting blog so don't worry about the 2013 so i can so i have gone i have to click on this so i've gone from something like uh, um 5 lakh 5.6 lakh visitors a day i'm uh, sorry a uh, year sorry <laughs> a year to uh, something like about um, what is that 20 24 lakhs or uh, 24 lakhs or uh, 2 million 2.4 million views and about 1 1.2 million visitors a year uh, so that's that's reasonable uh, increase um of late i've also been lucky that google has uh, finally uh, i mean after all this years of waiting and waiting and waiting i've uh, um i i believe google has given me um uh, what can i say for want of a better word respect that i deserve for the content i write because so many of my uh, how to select a mutual fund how to calculate dividends how to value a stock how to screen for stock i am getting traffic from all these uh, so the lo- so called long tail uh, keywords in seo getting traffic from them uh, but uh, it's a, um, not just the usual how to find epf balance how to select a best life insurer or leave travel concession rules and so on that that instead of that i never wrote about that uh, I, i i obviously this traffic is i would say very good but it's not the it's not the highest but it would be stupid to judge yourself as a blogger based on traffic numbers that would be really dumb uh but for the content i write i think these are very decent numbers and i have shown to the world that if you write um content that's beyond the usual uh, uh latest ncd or latest lic policy people will read it and uh, i think if i can call that success i i, I would like to think so if, if my success is proof that if you write intelligent content there is always an audience and that, that audience is not a small audience is a very very sizable audience to uh, to support your blog many things have changed i tried ads um, i tried ads from wordpress uh, 2000 i don't remember <laughs> 2014 14 maybe then i stopped i became an ad free blog i i tried using um, I think uh, uh, I tried supporting the blog using uh, user contributions that did not work too well. Then I switched to ads. Then I switched to uh, more ads. And because the reason for that is my 
my, my expenses are increasing i am a frugal guy people have told me you should uh, you should uh, i mean i had all sort of idiotic comments come to me i said you should give it all free some some guy told me why should i give it all he said that why you should that which means that uh, he meant that i should not run ads in the website how how why should i pay for the internet expenses uh, the uh, hosting expenses other expenses with plugins and so on why should i pay for it uh, i mean the weird logic but that's how people react i'll come to that in the, as a last point uh, so uh, so my expenses have been increasing more and more and more i have treated free fin cal as a business but as a non profit business everything uh, that comes from uh, ads from the screeners uh, whatever etc etc i've been i've been plowing it back into uh, website hosting plugins email uh, paying for emails paying for uh, keyword analysis whatever whatever etc etc seo seo services whatever i don't do it often but i just do it once in a while get somebody to audit it and so on i've been doing this um so i mean i've seen the good and bad from readers but the, the only reason the only reason uh, i get up every day and want to make new content for free fin cal is the reader is the viewer you are the only reason i do not everybody of you but most of you have supported me have encouraged me have told me every day without fail that i have made a difference in their lives and believe it or not i often get depressed i often tell myself i'm useless everything in my life is uh, is a waste every single time i have felt that in uh, in my life that day i will receive an email or a message from a reader who saying i have made a difference in their lives that will keep me going believe it or not i uh, i swear this has happened without fail every time i felt useless and i feel like a loser in my life somebody has come and somebody from the free fin cal community have come and told me i made a difference in their lives not everybody there are always idiots in every community but the the majority of the people they have lifted me and keep me uh, afloat i have never thought i will do something for 7 years i've done the same thing for 7 years of course i have adapted modified changed free fin cal is more about analysis commentary data uh, production now than about calculators and so on so i have changed from uh, gradually moved on because times have changed i have seen how people have uh, where the traffic traffic will drop in the weekends uh, because they are not using their desktops or uh, laptops in their office to traffic not dropping at all because they are always using their phones so i've seen that uh, revolution it's amazing what happens on uh, in the internet space i'm learning so many things about seo or marketing so i I'm, i'm most of all i'm learning about uh, uh human uh, behavior and i've i've seen some very very nasty comments directed at me and these are comments without any base they don't understand anything i mean people have told me and these are these are investors i can understand if distributors get angry at me many distributors are are angry at me but many of them in the distributor community in spite of my stance have treated me with respect i've had some shitty comments from plain readers which is uh, which is annoying but i have learned that the more shitty comments you get the more popular you become so uh, you have to take that in your stride and uh, find a way to do it i will write about that uh, in another video so i wanted to say uh, one final thing before i stop please use me properly i am a guy who likes to get pushed why don't you do this analysis why don't you find out if this is better or that is better that is the kind of uh, questions that i am looking for don't ask me where should i invest how is this fund how is that fund i mean that's a waste of my uh, time uh, my uh, accumulated knowledge over these years and it's a waste of everything it's a waste of your time as well don't do that push me in the right direction and i will get pushed everybody will get benefited that's the only um suggestion i can give you uh, uh, as usual i forgot the most important point i want to release a ebook called mf faq mutual fund faq 100 plus questions basic questions for beginners please look at the link in the first comment or in the description box fill that uh, form with your questions that you think beginners should know answers to 
and please help me finish that ebook i will try to uh, publish it uh, maybe this week or maybe next week i don't know depends on uh, what i can do so thank you for uh, listening um thank you for your support and i'll catch you in another video bye bye